Uh, you know what I wanted to start off tonight's show with? What? My magic powers. Okay. I ha I I called down some dark dark magic over this weekend. Um, I want to address. I want to direct everyone's attention to this tweet I made on May sixth of twenty nineteen, which was, I, if you check your calendars, um, uh, almost three weeks ago. Um, let's put this on the big screen so everyone can see. Uh, I'm gonna direct your your attention over here. Here's that tweet that I made. Um, it reads. I have the sad, sneaking suspicion that in two weeks, Thanos was right will be supplanted by Daenerys was right. What happened today? What happened? I, you know that, that's a, it's, it's interesting you should ask. Because this fuck YouTube. happened! Fuckvox.com! Are you fucking kidding me? Kidding. Are you fuck? Are you fucking kidding me with this shit? I think that says something about our fucking society, <laughs> like the trash fire that is our society. That you're like, you know what? Maybe just killing half the people would be fine. Maybe just murdering everybody in the capital would be okay. You Did know, like how much fucking worse can it get? You know, like. Do you know how I did this? Do you know how I accomplished this? It wasn't by magic. It wasn't by sorcery or psychic ability. You didn't sacrifice a pigeon or anything? Did not. It was because they just so damn basic! It's true. They just so damn basic! That's how I did it. It was just, they just, so, you're just so basic. You're basic. Oh my god. Yeah. That is so I mean just how did Oh my god. Oh. Gross would have been better off with her on the Iron Throne. I mean everybody would be dead. Yeah. No. So I guess you wouldn't have any more wars. I mean, instead of everyone starving in winter, they have all of this meat just piled up and already cooked. Yeah. Charbroiled. So you know, they're set. Ugh. All right. Let's... I can usually predict exactly what someone's going to say in 10 minutes on CNN. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? He can attest to this. Like, I'll be like, oh, did you see the thing today where they did this? And literally five minutes later, someone will say verbatim what I said. And he just looks at me and I'm like, I don't know if I'm psychic or they're repetitive or both. They're repetitive. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 get our intro going here. <laughs> Okay, can I address something before we do that? What, what, oh, okay. Hold on. Y'all have had a thing for a while now where you misspell my name on purpose. And I know it's on purpose because my name's in writing in the credits of the show. Uh-huh. On the YouTube. Uh -huh. On my Twitter. Uh -huh. And in the chat. Mm -hmm. So I know you're doing it on purpose. And it's not funny. No. It's dumb and i don't know why you do it and i don't know why you think it's amusing you spell my name like it's dirt because terra it means earth i don't know if you're calling me dirt i don't appreciate that or they're just really stupid that's but also a possibility people do it to me on twitter and actually like, name is in my twitter handle and it's they're really stupid so it's it's actually not even either or it's actually and they're really stupid so like it's like two for one could we like, I don't understand why it's funny. You're not funny and you're really stupid. I don't so. think it's funny. I don't know why y'all think it's funny. It's like, it's like you got a coupon. Yes, we'll do it in the Utah YouTube comments now just to spite me. I know you will. And you, you walked into the store and you said, can I get some not funny? And they said, well, we got a special. Here's some stupid too. And you're like, really? I'll take them both. Stupid and not funny. It sounds like terror depending on your accent. It does. But again, it's in writing, in the chat, in my Twitter handle, in the credits of the show. So you're not getting hung up on the pronunciation. It's you're just stupid. Word. It's a four-letter word. You're just stupid. 
Your chest is fucking stupid. I just wanted to get that off my chest. Can I start the show now? Can I do the bit? Yeah, okay. okay. Let's, let's do the fucking bit. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air, Radio I go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck's Wrong with You? Um. I, I, we're, oh, we've got a kicker from hell for our last story this week, but before we get there, we got a lot, go I, I gotta say, we have a lot going on this week. Um, let's start with a, uh, follow-up to a story, which these are always fun, um, because normally with these follow-ups, the story just gets worse. Do you remember a while back, there was a fellow who notoriously faked a break-in at his home? in order to get to cover up the fact he stole his girls his daughter's girl scout cookie money. Yeah. Yeah. We found out why he did this. Oh god. Oh oh no. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh to yes. Pay the mortgage? <laughs> Dad stole daughter's girl scout cash for erotic massage. Oh. Thanksgiving's going to be weird. Why has he got a black eye? Probably resisting. Nah, he's white. Forest Grove man pled guilty after admitting he stole his daughter's Girl Scout cookie proceeds to pay for an erotic massage. Brian David Kocher was, reported, was ordered to do 80 hours of community service and pay restitution for filing a false report. Really? How is he getting charged for the erotic massage? What? That's not, is he getting charged for the erotic massage? Or is that legal in Oregon? I mean, it's Portland. I, I, my, oh, okay, people are saying his wife punched him. Quite probably. Oh, maybe. Maybe his daughter punched him. I would if I was that kid, that dude's kid. I would, yeah. She Cause... works hard peddling cookies. This is Harder than you apparently. It's like there's it's you keep digging. And just and you think this is it. You can't dig any lower. No, no. Was this the same guy who returned the money with a stolen car or No, that, that a was a different guy. guy. That was a okay. different fucking guy. So we just got a lot of people stealing kids cookie money. We do. Now, uh our first story, our first actual story, it's not a follow up this week. Um we give YouTube a lot of shit. We say YouTube was a mistake, and you know what? We're right. But let's be fair. Um, it's it's not just YouTube out there, um, because uh, Instagram is terrible I mean, too. The whole internet. Uh, in Instagram is is terrible too. Um, teenage Instagrammer is being <gasps> criticized for smashing the nose of a two. Hundred year old Polish statue for a video. Shit, do, do, and you know what? We got video. Do you want to see? Do, do you want? We got we got video. Let, let's have a look together, you and I. Let's uh, bring that up. <laughs> and there's laughing in the video because. Vandalism. Art is fun. Yeah, it is. I mean, because, you know. Um, Polish teenagers being criticized online after a video showing her vandalizing a historic statue. Instagram user at ADVVX posted a video on her story which showed fellow Instagrammer Julia Slanska, presumed to be a friend, repeatedly hitting the nose of the statue with a hammer until it falls off. Well, behind the camera can be heard laughing throughout the video. Uh, the statue in question is a 200-year-old sculpture in Warsaw, Poland, Swiss Valley Park. Although the Instagram story has since disappeared, the video showed up on YouTube after being widely shared online. The teenager is described as, quote, dumb and brainless, and some called for her to be arrested. Um, the uh, prank uh, resulted in Slanska being dropped by Polish bank M-Bank, who'd hired her to be in an advertising campaign. Uh, Metro reports a spokesperson for the bank said on Instagram, we definitely do not support such behavior and the appropriate services uh, should deal with it. Um, 
She reportedly issued an apology in Polish on her Instagram the next day. Uh, it said, what happened yesterday should not have taken place at all, and seriously, I regret I did it. That's nice, but... But you did it. That doesn't put the face back on the guy. They, they can't fix it, either. Um, no. They can't restore it. That, that's like, part of it. All yeah. right. It's not like you knocked the dick off of David. <laughs> not like you destroyed one of the most important works of art in the world. But still. Actually, you know what? Had she actually knocked the dick off David, that could be seen as a form of protest. And that could be justified. This was just some random old statue. Like, why? Why? The no, just pfft, why the fuck? What? What was the point? This was art in a park. This wasn't like taking down. This wasn't like standing up against the bourgeoisie. No, this this just this poor. St what did the statue do to you? Was it like of a Confederate general? No, it looks like it's. <laughs> they don't have that in Poland. It looks like it's a giant baby. Yeah, like a cherub or something. You you, you knocked the nose off a giant baby. Good job. Why? What was the point? I know, because yeah, this is the thing. Everyone does the thing and immediately puts it online. And we have this whole culture now, I'm part of it, that we've decided everything's got to go online. Every moment, every instant. And I, it just, there are some people who have been immersed in it so long that there are no breaks anymore. Like, maybe I shouldn't put my crime on Instagram. I've caught myself a few times being like, oh, I need to put that on Facebook. And then having to stop and be like, why do I need to put that on Facebook? I mean, like, I, is there a reason I need to do that? Or am I just a Pavlovian dog? I, I mean, I put pictures of my cat all over the freaking Internet because he's adorable. But that's a, that's like, you know, that's what the Internet is for. That's what that's what they designed it for. It was designed right. to survive a nuclear war and cat pictures. That's what it's for. And porn. And porn. Yes. So, you, so once the world is over, you'd still have porn and cat pictures. Right. That's what was, yeah. The vitals. Exactly. Just, and, and of course she got like, Smashing the nose off of statues for no damn reason. I love how she didn't think, maybe the people whose work, who, whose business I'm promoting, might not want to be associated with me after the vandalism. That never clicked in the brain. Maybe this is, elite, like... Maybe the police really will want to be associated me with me, though. Mm. I mean, like, what do you? You can't plead not guilty. There's video. There's fucking video. Let's move uh, from overseas back to uh, homegrown. Stupid. Uh, this is from Crooked River Ranch, Oregon, which is what hell of a name of the place. place. It is Crooked River Ranch, Oregon. Um. You ever get in the middle of doing something, you get so flustered, you screw something up? Cooking. This happens to me a lot when I try to cook. All the time. Because I'll be in the middle of, like, doing something, and I'll skip over a step, or I'll do a step wrong, because I was like, wait a second. Oh, no, the, that's got the, the heat and fire. Okay, uh, no, ingredient. this goes in heat. Oh, okay, no, oh, no, Yeah, oh. I don't understand people who enjoy cooking. He enjoys cooking, and I find the whole process very stressful. I don't it is! I don't understand enjoying it. He, I, I find it relaxing. Yeah, and that freaks me out. Because I'm like, there's knives and fire, and I yeah. all of it's too stressful so for yeah, me. You, you get into a situation, you're kind of out of your depth. You get a little flustered. This is going a little beyond getting flustered. Um, fleeing suspect puts wrong fuel in getaway car caught after tow truck call. Oh, honey. Uh, County Sheriff's Office arrested Jeremy Hotha Thomas, 34, of Shoreline, Washington, after his car became disabled when he put diesel fuel, which he stole, in his 2017 Chevrolet Cruze that takes regular gasoline. Incident unfolded after deputies responded to a domestic disturbance where Thomas' stepfather reported that Thomas threatened and pointed a gun at him. Nice. Caller went inside his house and told uh, dispatchers Thomas also fired the gun. Also nice. Uh, Thomas, along with his girlfriend and three-year-old child, wow, left the scene before, before authorities were arrived. Uh, multiple agencies searched the area after learning Thomas had fled. Can we talk about the girlfriend who got in the car with this psycho and took her toddler? I know. Hell no. 
Three hours later, a tow truck driver responded to a dead battery call from a woman tipped off by an Oregon State trooper. The woman told the tow truck driver the make, model, and location of the car, and the tow truck driver relayed the, relayed the information to the trooper. Uh, so, when authorities detained Thomas, they figured out the car's battery wasn't dead at all. Thomas was driving low on fuel when he pulled over, went into a barn, and stole a gas can. He filled the can with diesel from a larger fuel tank, and then put it in his car. His car became disabled when he tried to start start it. You know what? I actually had someone, uh, someone uh, I forget, it was one of these con trips we were driving on. And we pulled into the gas station. And I was going to the unleaded, and he says, why aren't you getting diesel? And I'm like, because it'll kill my car. And I swear to God, he said to me, without skipping a, without skipping a beat, that's an old wives' tale. No, 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 it's, no, it's not. No, it, that's... Like, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what the difference between the two is. But I know that one makes my car go and one makes my car stop. <laughs> and, like, the one that makes my car go. Yeah, I mean, it, it, even though it, it, people are like, well, he, did, he just got it from a... No, don't just put random shit in your car. Most farm equipment run on diesel? Yes, most farm shit is diesel. Um, I'm I mean, I don't know. I don't know that I'm thinking of that under those circumstances. And tractors I don't know if everybody are, knows that. Tractors are, and even even without thinking about that, you're don't put random weird shit in your car. That's a quick way to kill the damn thing, you idiot. I think the real core problem is don't fire a gun at your stepfather. That's another thing. Yes. And don't get the fuck in the car with the dude, her father, or your gun, and his stepfather with your toddler. Well, you know, you, 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 the, the, your kid's screaming, your girlfriend's nagging you, stop shooting at your stepfather all the time. So, of course, you'll get a little flustered, put the wrong gas in your car. It happens to everybody. That's a pretty new car, too. Can they fix that when you do something like that? I don't know. I don't think they can. That's unless not without flushing out all the fucking fluids and maybe there's damage. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's an expensive repair. That's a 2017. Yeah. We have more car shenanigans. And this. Guys, this is going to blow your mind this week. OK, not not just the story. I'll wait. Wait for it, because this I, I looked at the dates on this and when this. My brain, let's start with, let, let's just get it started here. Um, this is from Kentucky. This has happened before. Um, Kentucky man finds unlicensed bears behind wheel of car. Are there licensed bears in Kentucky? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, it's fucking Kentucky, so there might be. Owensboro's Barber Wild Experience last week is gaining some attention on Facebook. Chad Morris is the owner of CMO Barbershop. I like how he managed to get his, his business yeah, name in there. Fun. Was in Gatlinburg, Tennessee last weekend when he found his car in the process of being taken over by bears. Morris, who was in disbelief about what was going on, was left questioning if he was being punked. I was telling my friends, I want to see a bear. I want to see a bear. You know, Morris said. Been lifting weights a little bit. Want to see a bear? Tussle with a bear. And it was like, well, you get four on one. Now what are you going to do, big boy? And I was like, nah, I'll pass. That's a quote. That's a fucking quote. No, you don't want to tussle with a bear. I just, I love how it's like, it's not just one. It's a bunch of them. They're like, come on, Chad, let's cruise. They're like getting all shit. They're getting their shit together. They're going for a road trip. Look at those bears. They're like, woo, spring break. I'm going to get on the roof. No, don't get on the roof. Some motherfucker want to tussle with a bear. I brought my boys. Don't, don't, don't get on the roof. Don't get on the roof, man. We can't drive with you on the roof. No, it'll be cool. Woo. I can't take you anywhere. I just... I'm hung up on I wanted to tussle with a bear. I just... The, the, Although, <laughs> I have an ex-boyfriend who always wanted to fight a bear. The pictures are adorable, though. <laughs> I do. It's true. They're so they're so <laughs> wonderful because they're just so happy. They know, they're so happy. They're like, this is fun. They don't know how to start the car, but by God, they're trying. Do you have a picnic basket? OK, now I said this. Here's the part that's going to blow your mind. 
We're not the I want to fight a bear part. That wasn't that part. 1500 miles away. Two days later. Bears honk horn mangle seats while breaking into Florida family's truck. Bears are taking over. South Florida woman called 911 when she noticed her truck was shaking and the horn was blaring. Is there video? I think there's video. There is. Yeah, there, there's the video. There's the, uh, there's the bears on the truck. Family told deputies they heard a car horn honking and vehicle doors opening and closing repeatedly around 11.45 p.m. They were afraid someone was trying to break in or lure them outside. Responding deputies reported a surprising detail. Um, okay, so it looks like a family of bears decided to open your car. Bears mangled oh. the seats and tore the liner of the truck. The owner, whose name was not given, said she believed they were looking for a midnight snack. My food smells like, my truck smells like food for me having a kid. Yeah, that'll do it. Just fast well, food. My car smells like food all the time, too, because I yeah. eat in the car half the time. Woman said she caught one of the bears returning to the crime scene the next day. Mm. Oh, and there's pictures of the truck. Oh, fucked up that truck. Holy dude. shit. And this is why I say to the guy in the last story, that dude ripped the inside panel off that door. Yeah. Care if you've been lifting, bro. Oh, fuck. You can't fight a bear. They're so, furry tanks of death. Twice in one week, thousand miles away from each other, the same goddamn thing. What the fuck? Fuck it was this this was this was planned. Bears are rising. The bears are like it's t we want the right to drive in this country. They're like, look, we found out what you're doing to our cousins in the north. We want to fucking drive. And fuck you, we're taking over. This no is more cars. No more fossil fuel. I your cars, humans. I swear, when I got these stories in, these were both submitted. I had to double check. I'm like. Did someone send me the same story twice? And then I went and looked, and then I looked at the dates and the times, and I'm like, fuck! I think I'm on to something now. I think the bears heard out heard about the plight of the polar bears and have decided to destroy our death machines that create carbon emissions. This it's is a, a fucking bear uprising. It's a good a fucking theory as any. All My right. Cars are fuel efficient bears. <laughs> Please don't hurt my car. So this next one's from Massachusetts. Do you remember a while back in Canada, we had the story when the uh, house cleaning service went to the wrong house and accidentally cleaned the wrong guy's house? That was a little charming because it was a yeah. mistake anyone could have made. He got his house cleaned for free. Oopsie. This is less charming. Uh, and more fucking creepy. Man says intruder entered his home, cleaned everything, and left behind toilet paper rose. What's a toilet paper rose? That's a toilet paper rose. It's a rose made of toilet paper. That is beautifully made. Massachusetts man got the quite the surprise when he came home from work last week. Strangers had broken into his house. Nothing was missing, but it had been thoroughly cleaned. Uh, May 15th, Nate Roman of uh, Marlboro. Uh, said a stranger entered his home while he was at work. He said it's possible he left the back door unlocked because there were no signs of forced entry. Quote, ready for the weird part? Not only did they not take anything that I can find, but the purpose of the visit was to clean my bathrooms and bedrooms. They made the bed, vacuumed the rug, scrubbed the toilet, and left TP roses. Um, he also shared his photo of his son's bedroom where all of the toys were put away, the stuffed animals were stacked in the bed, and the sheets were folded up. Roman added the person didn't leave a note or anything that addressed why his house was suddenly clean. Um, it's weird and creepy as fuck. No idea what to think about this. And that's right, because, you know, if you find out it was a house cleaning service, went to the wrong house, okay, that makes sense. If you don't know, that's like... You'd is, be like I, I'd be like, how gross was my house? I know, I the first thing I'd be thinking about. <laughs> Like, am I that house in the neighborhood? Did they did they have an intervention on my ass? Yeah. 
it, it like, kinda... I have a problem with folding my laundry. Like, I will oh, leave yeah. my laundry in the basket forever. Yeah. Or I'll have, like, my laundry basket full of clean laundry. So I'll steal Dan's laundry basket and then leave that full of clean laundry until he has to beg me for his basket back. I, te- I tend to be a fairly messy person, but whenever the idea of someone coming over to my house, I high-speed cleaning mode. Everything, <laughs> top to fucking bottom. I can't let anyone see... I, like, I wait for when I get, oh God, the orchid man's coming tomorrow. We got a vacuum. We got a fucking vacuum. Like I would immediately be suspicious that like the neighbors looked in my windows and were like, oh, this just won't do. <laughs> or uh, more likely it would be my sister. <laughs> my, si- be fucking my sister lives in a house where you can do surgery on any surface in the home. Her favorite smell is bleach. Literally. <laughs> She loves the smell of bleach. Like that's not right. It's like type A. The house that that that's a poison. Yes. That that this is the house I used to live in. Like my room was the messiest room in the house, and it wasn't messy. But they were always stressed out because like I had things out on my desk. So oh. if anyone was going to break into my house and clean everything, it would be her. Yeah, my o- my office death my my office desk would kill your sister. Just just yeah, my no, desk I, I alone. Had, like things on the desk, and that stressed them out a lot. Oh. I would leave a couple pairs of shoes outside the closet, and that would just stress them out. We we have uh, our next one is an honest to god Florida man story. Oh straight, boy! Straight from the headline. We fi- you watch the Good Place, correct? I do. I just introduced Dan to The Good Place. We just finished season one. He likes it very much. But he was like, Jason Mendoza's Florida Man. He is. Like, they just made Florida Man a, man a character on the show. They did. Portal! Sorry. Florida Man arrested for crashing wedding on St. Pete Beach during Bride and Groom's first dance. Was he naked? Because Mar- I've seen I've seen the wedding pictures ruined by the naked dude on the beach. Mark Sanderson, 37 of Landa Lakes, invited himself to a wedding reception at the Grand Plaza Hotel on St. Pete Beach at a uh, Monday evening. Walking into the reception, Sanderson cut into the bride and groom's first dance. When confronted by staff and security, he escaped to the eleventh floor of the hotel. After continuing to elude staff and security, Sanderson was finally escorted into an elevator. We spoke to a deputy. Uh, Sanderson told the deputy he was from Ohio. He was not. And gave his phone number in place of his social security. Um, According to the arrest report, Sanderson was unsteady on his feet, slurring his words, and had bloodshot eyes. <laughs> so now, like, did you crash somebody's wedding? You decided to just like jump in on the first dance yeah with your sorry drunk ass oh how how drunk do you have to be for that to seem like a good plan that i I don't i don't know how many how many bottles of hennessy is that a lot that's a lot now is it is is this is this the the amount of uh, alcohol you've had is this before or after the first hurl? The boot rally? Well, I hope before, because the last thing the bride needs is to smell like vomit <laughs> on top of it all. But, like, man, you don't want to fuck with brides, dude. Oh, God. He's lucky he did not get... She, she it's like, I security was, was chasing. I, like, think I was pretty easygoing, but I was a makeup artist, and mm. I did some brides. And there is nothing that turns a normally... Pretty decent woman into a demon from the pit faster than a fucking wedding. I, I they say security was chasing him. I think the <laughs> only reason the bride wasn't doing it was because she was in the dress and the heels. Otherwise, she would have been after his ass. I watch Bridezillas, and I can tell you, some of them don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that will that will not stop them all. <laughs> You gotta watch Brian Dillas, man. They oh. will fucking throw down in that dress. And now we have our we've come to our final story. This is the story that everyone sent me. 
I, I swear to God, I had to look at multiple sources to make sure this actually fucking happened. I could not believe... I started reading it, and I'm like, this is a parody site. Oh my God, this is not a parody site. So I googled it, and it was not. This really fucking happened. Holy shit. Um, I, I think the only word to describe this gentleman is omni-shambles. Uh, man... They're all telling me to look behind me, and they're on a delay. No, I, I was being good. I, it was just when you're never being good. <laughs> he, he wasn't, but you know what? Man allegedly hiding drugs in butt accidentally shoots himself in testicles. That's a lot. Why does he look like Ramsey Bolton? I've got, I have to read this. Like a again. redneck Ramsey Bolton, though. Man allegedly hiding drugs in butt accidentally shoots himself in testicles. Which did they figure out first? Man who like, shot himself. Shoot himself in the testicles and accidentally poop out the drugs because of the shock? It seems like that's... Yeah, Camry Jeff, Jeffrey Wilson, 27, was carrying a gun in his front pocket... So already we have. Presumably without the safety on, you dumbass. When the firearm accidentally discharged, the bullet pierced Wilson's testicle and went into his thigh. That alone would be bad enough. But then. <laughs> a bad day. But then, upon arriving at the hospital, a doctor was operating on the gunshot wound when a balloon of marijuana slipped out of Wilson's anus. How embarrassing. Police arrived at the hospital and searched Wilson's car where they found a bag of meth. But we're not done. As Wilson, who is a convicted felon, no guns for you. Yeah. So, oh my God, was being processed into the Chalen County Jail. He was strip searched and another balloon of marijuana came out of his anus. He has, he has pled not guilty to second degree felony in possession of a firearm and unlawful possession of meth. He also pleaded not guilty to possession of a controlled substance. Good luck with that, honey. What? Good, good luck. Oh, you got to admire the balls. I mean, the ball on this guy. <laughs> Here's my question. <laughs> You're going to be mad at me for having this question. Go ahead. The reason people don't just walk around shitting themselves all the time mm -hmm. is that there's muscles there. Right. That are generally pretty tightly clenched. Uh-huh. Unless you train them otherwise. Uh-huh. So generally, if you stuff stuff up your butt, it doesn't just fall out. Well, I will grant that it kind of fell out on the operating table when he was under anesthetic. I mean, maybe they numb the whole area? Did they, I, like the whole neighborhood? He was know? probably screaming at them for, to, for them to do that because, you know, hole in All the right. testicle. Alright, so if they, like, just numb the whole neighborhood, I could see that. Because otherwise I'm like... He managed to hold on to the other... Do you have to wear diapers in everyday life? Like he, he managed to hold on to the other one all the way to jail. So I think it was just, I want to say that was an anesthetic issue. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's, let's, let's do the tally here. Um, convicted felon, possession of a firearm. Kept it in your front pocket. No safety on. Two balloons of marijuana up your ass. A bag of meth in your car. And that's my other question. Oh, yeah. Of the two, one of those drugs is definitely worse for them to find. Oh, yeah. Why wasn't that one up your ass? Because <laughs> you know what? If they find a bag of marijuana on you and you're white, you're probably just going to get slapped on the fucking wrist. Right. It's weird. Like priority. But the meth. That's way worse. They don't like it. They don't like meth being around. They don't like what meth does to people. They don't like how it's made. It's just bad for everybody. I... It's like, 
Why would you pick that? Why? To put in nature's pocket. So was saying, isn't pot legal in Washington? Uh, I think it's Oregon. Wasn't it Oregon that voted? Uh... Well, Colorado, definitely. <coughs> Colorado did. I didn't know that, that uh, Washington had yet. I don't know. Either way, I feel like that's well, a dumb this, choice. This, this was April 5th of this year. If you so, have to decide which bag of drugs to put up your ass, the mess. Someone double check. Washington. Okay, wait a second. It's legal in Washington. So then what the fuck, man? Were you trying to do the vodka tampon and you really screwed it up? How the... Oh my god, we just found a whole other facet of how he fucked this up. Because, alright, alright. Because it was like, you know, we picked it up and it's like, oh, look at this, look at this. But then someone comes in with the jeweler's mitt, with the jeweler's eyeglass and go, no, wait, look at this. Yeah. Incredible. I feel like Picard in that episode of Star Trek where he, he was trying to, to unravel that, that pottery thing that his mentor gave him. And there's kept being layers and layers of that shit. Except with what's, stupidity. What's the vodka tampon? Okay. Oh, God. Don't. Why did you ask her that? So sometimes when girls want to get drunk fast without having to drink a lot because it'll make you sick. They just soak a tampon in vodka and put it in because it absorbs right into the bloodstream. Men will put it up their ass because they don't have a vagina, cis men anyway. Or they'll just funnel vodka up their ass. I don't understand that. But that's the vodka tampon. If you want to get really drunk really fast and not have to drink. And also if you want to get drunk but you don't want the alcohol in your breath. Right. You soak a tampon in vodka and... Put it in whatever bottom orifice you have available. Because uh, if you brought this up, somebody in the chat's going to try this. Yeah, well, let us know how it goes. <laughs> oh, okay, the, the, the correction at the bottom is even better. Um, I want to party with Tara now. <laughs> <laughs> this story initially reported the man accidentally shot himself in the penis. He accidentally shot himself in the testicles. So that's some ethical reporting there. Oh. They they aren't afraid to admit when they're wrong. They reported the twig. It was the berries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's being held on a $110,000 bond. Wouldn't the vodka tampon give you the unholy mother of all yeast infections? No. You don't want to use any of the brown liquors that have a lot of carbs, because that'll give you the yeast infection. The clear liquor is safer. Also, liquor is a sterilizing agent, as long as it's not full of sugar. Do you, you see know? why I told you not to ask her this? The trick is don't use the booze that has a lot of sugar in it. So I, you do it with vodka because it doesn't have a ton of sugar in it. I don't, I, I told, I told you, 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 I don't know why you don't listen to me, guys. Come on. You, don't you know better by now? They don't. They fucking don't. They can't even spell my fucking name, man. I think the, the the, the, the first thing we learned this week is it can always get worse. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you thought, I mean, you, th you would think that getting shot in the testicle would be about it. But oh no! Worst part of your day. That, it's, isn't that bad when, the, when getting shot in your nut? is not the worst thing to happen to you all day. He might argue that that still was the worst part of his day. Probably, yeah. Um, we've learned that uh, don't screw with a woman's wedding or she will... You are ama I'm amazed this guy's still alive. Statistics, like the odds are just not on your side. There's you a might get a really chill bride, but probability is against you. There's a reason why he took the stairs. The wedding industrial complex has fucked us up royally. Um, we have learned that uh, clean your house before your neighbors can decide to clean it for you, I guess. Yeah. We've learned that bears are trying to take cars. So if you spot them at the DMV, say something. <laughs> Let someone something, know. Say something. Right. Um... 
We've learned that uh, you gotta be careful. Don't just put anything random in your car, especially when you've broken the law. You kind of need that. You're trying to get away. And finally, we've learned that uh, pretty much all of social media was a terrible mistake, and uh, we should all be ashamed. Yeah. I was explaining to him yesterday that technology is going to be the downfall of humanity. I'm sure of it. Like, we're going to advance ourselves right out of viability as a species. Only, it's not going to be like, everyone thinks it's going to be like Skynet. We're going to build a thing that's going to get angry at us and kill us all. No, it's going to be something stupid. It's going to be both, I think. It's like, I think it's going to be like the sex robots will we'll decide to put AIs in the sex robots to make them more realistic, and they will form Skynet. So it'll be Skynet. But created the stupidest way possible. It won't be Terminator Sky. It'll be stupid Sky. Right. It'll be like the worst Terminator porn parody possible. And, and that's so, how humanity goes out. And somehow the blockchain will be in there. Yeah. 